Alrighty, Jesse here, aka the Drazer, and welcome back to another episode of uh, Everybody's Gone to the Rapture here on the channel. And um, I guess we're just going to continue walking this way. Hopefully, this is the right way. We'll walk up these stairs quick. These stairs seem interesting. I lost my shoes. I lost my shoes, sir. There's arches on the green. They take my shoes, sir. Howard? Howard Lantham! You open the door this instant, young man. I lost my shoes. Now get up. Get up. I lost my shoes. What on earth are you doing here, Howard? Stephen. He told me to stay in case Lizzie phoned. Stephen, where is he? What are you doing with those birds? Concentrate, Howard. Where's Stephen? He said he couldn't help them. He took my shoes so I'd stay. Listen to me, Howard Lantham. You find your shoes and you get to the village. Find Father Jeremy. He'll give you some soup or something. Be off with you. Where are you going? I'm going to find my son. Then I'm going to ask him what on earth he thinks he's doing. Which way do I go? God, I wish that light would keep moving, but I'm still stuck at that one area, I'm sure. I'll walk this way. If this isn't the way, I'll end up taking a cut and going the right way, so you guys don't worry. Alright, well this is the car the light used to be by. I don't know where it went.
gonna follow this trail quick since I didn't see this before. Please push it. Push the bloody thing. You push it. I told you it would get stuck. I should have just taken the car. This was a stupid idea. <laughs> Moving here was a stupid idea. And I told you, Barbara said they've locked the roads. Oh, my God. You go and look then. Wait, is that Harvey? Harvey? Harvey! Harvey! Here, boy! Come here, boy! Little crazies. on you, Elizabeth. He, he left. It's too late. You loved each other long before she came along. It's just about making things as they should be. Wendy, no. It's not like you won't bump into each other anyway. One drink, what can that hurt? <sighs> one drink, maybe. Oh, one <laughs> drink, wonderful. them. I'll take a cut till I get back to the next place. Good grief, Wendy. You Ooh. catch your death. They're all dead, Father. All of my birds. Here. Yeah. Take my jacket. I tried to be a good woman, a Christian woman, but I've been proud. Just as the Lord forgave you, so also should you. What matters is we try our best. God sees that. Come back to the village with me. I'm not so far from Stevens now. I need to find my son. It's what Eddie would have done. Yes, I suppose it is. I'll say a prayer for you. Thank you, Father. She loved you, you know, Mary. You helped her. I'm sorry if I judged you harshly. It doesn't matter now. It's late. You, you should find a place to sleep. I'm sure when the sun comes up, everything will seem better. Alrighty, well, we didn't exactly get back to the place that I wanted to, but we got to a place. Keep on going. I really want to know where that light is, though.
fancy seeing you here. Oh. Is everything all right, my dear? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm all right. I'm all right. It's just... Robert. <sighs> that man doesn't deserve you. I know everybody thinks I'm just a mithering old busybody, but someone has to say what everyone else is thinking. We both know that this marriage, it's not how things are supposed to be. Are you talking about me and Robert? Or is this really about Stephen and Kate? I suppose it is. I have to accept it, I know. But she doesn't belong here. You see that, don't you? There's a place for people, and this isn't hers. Oh. But I'm not talking about the colour of her skin. Don't look at me like that. What they do up there, it's not natural. There are some things we're not supposed to understand. I don't like her, and I don't like how Stephen is around her. He was a better man when he was with you. Interesting, real interesting. Rachel, darling, I'm sorry about taping over your music, but we, that is your dad and I, in case you come home, I mean, I know Mrs. Graves is looking after you over there, but just in case you come home, we wanted to let you know we're going to head over to Barb's. Evie! Evie! Sam, I'm leaving a message for Rachel. Are you going to say hello? Jesus Christ, Evie, we haven't got time for this. The bloody car won't start. We're going to have to walk. Sam, shush, it's for Rachel in case she comes back here. But Charlie says everyone's getting together at the hall. Rachel's at the camp. She'll be fine. Rachel, darling, anyway, listen, as I was saying, we're going to be at the village hall. We'll wait there for you. I think it's best if you just stay put and mind what Mrs Graves tells you. We love you, darling. Bye. You finished? Right, grab that bloody case and let's get moving. Come on. Wendy, wake up. Eddie, 
Is that you? No, it's me. It's Frank. Oh, Frank. The door was open. I didn't think Graham would mind. I'm sure he won't. What are you doing here? Looking for Stephen, but I just ran out of steam. And the door was open. Have you listened to the radio? I thought I heard him on the radio before. It's all over the valley. Don't you get that? This isn't some abstract thing. Whatever came down into the tower has got out. They've quarantined the whole valley. It's right here in the observatory. It's out in the world. It's adapting and spreading. Do you understand? No, we can't turn it away. What's he talking about? I don't know, But if he's on the radio, we can try and reach him on the CB. You go to Stephen's house, and if I get hold of him, I'll tell him to come and find you. Come on, you stupid bastard! Come on, come on, come on. Ah, damn bloody thing! Jesus! Come on, not now! Jesus, come on, you bastard! Start, start, you bastard! Come on! Ah. Stephen? Stephen, are you here? It's your mother. Answer me. Stephen! This is a place. There must be a logic to the pattern. It's shifting in response to me. It's alive. It's the only explanation. Stephen, where's Kate? Are you here?
on. Take a cut until I get this, guys. Alrighty, finally got it. I had to turn on simplified tuning Steven? to get it, though. I can hear the planes. It's the government coming to rescue us. You can come out now. It's all gonna be alright. I can hear the jets coming. It's like when Eddie came home. It's like your dad coming home again. I'm here. I'm down here. This way. So that's going to be it for today's episode. I'll just get back to where we left off that way. Because I really don't want to walk around much more. So that's going to be it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe. i got to try and remember to make those cuts. And um, sorry about lack of commentary. My nose was running the entire time while filming that. Uh, I just couldn't talk because it was a pain. But... Yeah, my, and if you're wondering, my allergies are acting up. I actually have, like, a mild allergy to, like, cats, and I have two of them and one that lives in the basement, so. I wake up every morning kind of feeling muggy and, like, crap, so. But with that being said, who cares? <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, you guys, to you, and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Peace off.